On today's show, find out who competed over the weekend. And when you can go out and join a new club. I'm Catherine Derryberry. And I'm Kyle Bradford. And, and you're, you're watching, watching Kyle Nation, Nation TV, TV Live. Live. Good morning, Coyotes, and happy Wednesday. I'm so glad we started a new semester because last semester was brutal. Mm. I don't think I've ever been more sleep deprived in my life. Me too, but now that it's a new semester, you can get all the sleep you need because with the new semester, we're almost done with the year. Well, we still have a long ways to go. So let's get into who competed this past weekend. First off, Kawhi had four students take part in the area round of auditions for Allstate. Over 14,000 students competed in this process with a chance to sing in one of the three All-State Choirs. Congrats to Tristan Smith, who received fourth chair in the Bass Two Texas All-State Mixed Choir, Eileen McIvers, who received ninth chair in the Alto One Texas All-State Treble Choir, Madison Lang, who received 16th chair in Alto One, and Eli Doggett, who received 18th chair in Tenor One. Yeah, we got a lot of names for you guys today, so just listen up, but great job, guys. Also, Madison and Eli were ranked in the top 8% of their voice part in the state, and Tristan and Eileen were ranked in the top 4% of the voice part in the state. Congrats again to Tristan, Eileen, Madison, and Eli for representing our school at the highest level. Yeah, great job, guys. The following students competed this past weekend as well. They placed an, at the Princeton UIL academic meet. Congrats to Carmen Hakeem George for placing fifth in social studies, JD Perpelli for placing first in physics, Oshika Das for placing fifth in science overall, Bryce Chen placed fifth in computer science, and Bryce Chen, Carrie Tu, and Sheldon Duncan placed third on the computer science team. Great job, guys. Also, Fiza Kuzil placed third, and Shauna Sheik placed in sixth in the news writing. And you can't forget about Nadine Said, who placed fourth, and Fiza Kuzil again, who placed fifth in feature writing. Congrats to all these coyotes who competed this past weekend. Now, let's get into our club meetings for the week. And if you didn't hear last week, the Leap Club is collecting used shoes for the charity in Guatemala. So, bring any shoes all week. Um, you can bring them in Miss, Mr. Beck's room, C201. The Heritage Women's Society will be meeting tomorrow at 8.25 a.m. or 4.25 p.m. in room F122. You can learn more about volunteer, volunteer opportunities while you're there. Also, Helping Hands is meeting tomorrow before school at 8.20 to 8.50 a.m. and after school from 4.20 to 4.50 p.m. and room B219. And all this will take place in Ms. Shanti's room. For those of you who don't know, Helping Hands is a club designated to help tutor Syrian refugees via Skype. Mm. And new members are always welcome, and anyone interested can attend this Thursday's meeting or send an email to sanjanavnkt20 at mm. gmail.com. Again, that's S A N. J-A-N-A-V-N-K-T-20 at gmail.com, all lowercase. Yeah, don't forget that email, guys. But as you may know, help in the cafeteria hasn't been there as much. And CNTV's Nick Gallagher shows how some students stepped up and really showed some grit helping out our custodians. The cafeteria is home to our lunch period, but it also becomes the center of a lot of trash. Our student body of over 2,000 naturally creates piles of trash after the lunches. It's a lot of work. I mean, it can be a lot of work. I mean, we don't have much time, so we have to get the big stuff. Uh, you know, we have to get the tables clean. We have to get the chairs underneath the tables. Uh, any trash that's left, we try to get it in the trash cans. The lunch passing period has been reduced to three minutes, which means the staff has less time to clean the cafeteria. In that time, they have to pick up everything that was left behind. We always ask the kids to pick up their stuff after they eat, take to the trash, because it's a lot easier for them just to get up and take their, st their stuff to the trash and uh, clean up after themselves. 
A slight burden is created as trash is left behind. There are some students who see this issue and step up to help. It sometimes disappoints me to see some lot of trash in the cafeteria, so I just really want to help the custodians pick that up. Our custodians are some of the nicest people in our campus, and uh, they kind of get taken for granted a lot of the times. Um, and so just knowing that like, when we can help them out whenever we can, helps make their day easier. And if, and if we can do that by just doing something as little as throwing a bottle away or just pushing in some chairs, then I feel like uh, that's something like the least I can do for them. Those students have stepped forward to do more than they were asked. In the process, they set an example with their leadership and service. Always just try and clean up after yourself and push in your chairs because that really reduces a lot of work that these custodians have to do. And the more you help in, the more cleaner the cafeteria will look. It's something small we can do and uh, you know it's the, it's the least we can do for them because they always have a smiling face, they always want the best for you. And so I think it's our job to do the best we can for them. I'm Nick Gallagher with Coyote Nation TV. You know, it's really great how some of our college stepped up in a time of need. You know what I'm saying, Kat? I know exactly what you're saying. It's really nice of them to go out and help out our custodians. Anyways, last but not least, it's time for our Thursday sports. Girls JV Soccer will be playing in a tournament tomorrow here with the tournament starting at 8 a.m., but our team won't play until 11 a.m. And to kick off the tournament, the girls will be playing McKinney Boyd. Girls Varsity Soccer will be playing against Lakeview Centennial High School tomorrow here at 6 p.m. But if you're more into some wrestling, girls and boys wrestling teams will be taking the floor to face off some of Prosper's finest wrestlers here tomorrow for Senior Night at 6 p.m. And to finish up the sports, your diving team will be competing in the District 10 5A Championships at the FISD Natatorium at 5 p.m. Well, with that being said, that's all we have for you today, Coyote. Be sure to follow us on Twitter at Coyote Nation TV. And take a quick login to Backpage.org to check out some stories that we have on there. The Heritage Press has been working hard. Mom will be on there, so just go check it out. Anyways, I'm Catherine Derryberry. And I'm Kyle Bradford. And, and you, you stay, stay classy, classy Coyotes. Coyotes. So, yeah. 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 yeah.